in trying to trace blood from the heart to the brain and back in this simulation. It is not incorrect to say that deoxygenated blood would begin in the sinus venosus, pass to the left atrium, pass to the single ventricle to be pumped into the conus arteriosus, where it would go into the uh, pulmonary artery and gas exchange would occur in the pulmonary capillaries uh, so that oxygenated blood returns in the pulmonary vein, which would then enter the left atrium, which would then enter the single ventricle, which would then be pumped uh, into the uh, conus arteriosus, kept largely separated from the deoxygenated blood thanks to a spiral valve, and thus be sent to the brain and back. That is not technically incorrect. While the ancestral Sarcopterygian fish, like lungfish today, possess a series of aortic arches, which proceed to the gills where oxygen is uh, exchanged, frogs have modified this so that they no longer uh, have a series of aortic arches supporting gills. Many Salamander larvae, however, do possess external gills, which are supplied by multiple aortic arches. This then complicates the circulatory route because now some of the blood which is being sent to these aortic arches then obtains oxygen in the gills. It should be noted that not all salamander larvae do possess this aquatic stage. Some undergo direct development, and so uh, this uh, stage having external gills may not be present. And also it should be noted that some adult salamanders undergo neoteny. They retain juvenile characteristics, and so they may, may maintain external gills throughout their lives. And so thus this would mean that some salamanders have a variable uh, type of uh, circulation uh, for gas exchange compared to others. While most salamanders possess lungs and thus prominent blood vessels which perform gas exchange in these lungs, such as the pulmonary veins seen here, the family Plethodontidae, the most diverse family in the Northeast United States, this is composed of lungless salamanders. And so thus, as adults, all of their gas exchange is performed through cutaneous respiration in their skin. This lungless condition has led to a few other changes from a more typical salamander circulation. For example, the interatrial septum dividing the two atria into left and right atria may be reduced or even absent. The spiral valve of the conus arteriosus, which largely separates oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, may also be reduced or absent. Unlike frogs, there is no cutaneous artery coming from the sixth aortic arch, which is receiving the oxygenated blood from the skin. Rather, there are blood vessels throughout the systemic circulation which service the skin and thus perform gas exchange. And so, thus, it is more difficult to speak of which blood is oxygenated versus deoxygenated, since blood vessels all over the body uh, will be performing gas exchange and oxygenating blood. Finally, salamanders of the genus Siren may possess a partial interventricular septum, which may make them more adept at separating their oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. 